Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss the topic aluminium phosphide poisoning. So let's get started. Aluminium phosphide, also known as sulfos, quickfos, alfos, and phostoxin. Now it is also used as a pesticide, insecticide, and rodenticide. It is widely used as a green preservative. Now remember, a white tablet of sulfos weighing three gram has the capacity to liberate one gram of phosphine gas. Aluminium phosphide has a garlicky odor, which is one of the main characteristic feature of sulfos poisoning. Now let's talk about the action of aluminium phosphide. On coming in contact with moisture, aluminium phosphide liberates phosphine. Now this phosphine inhibits respiratory chain enzymes and has cytotoxic action. It acts by inhibiting the electron transport resulting from preferential inhibition of cytochrome oxidase. Phosphine is a systemic poison and affects all organs of the body. The chemical reaction is accelerated by the presence of HCl in the stomach. Absorption and excretion. Phosphine is quickly absorbed from the GI tract by simple diffusion and causes damage to the internal organs. After ingestion, some aluminium phosphide is also absorbed and metabolized in the liver, where phosphine is slowly released, accounting for the prolongation of symptoms. Phosphine is oxidized slowly to oxy acids and excreted in urine as hypophosphite. It is also rapidly absorbed from the lungs after inhalation and excreted in unchanged form through the lungs. Fatal dose on ingestion is 1 to 2 grams or 1 to 3 tablets and the fatal period is 1 to 4 hours. Inhalation of phosphine at a concentration of 400 to 600 parts per million is fatal within one hour. Signs and symptoms. They depend on the dose and severity of poisoning. Based on that, it can be divided into three main categories that is mild intoxication, moderate intoxication and severe intoxication. In mild intoxication, we get to see nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, headache. Next, let us see about moderate and severe poisoning. Moderate to severe poisoning produces the following symptoms. In GIT, it results in nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain. In CVS, it results in hypotension, arrhythmias, myocarditis, pericarditis, acute CHF, and shock. In respiratory system, it results in cough, dyspnea, cyanosis, pulmonary edema, and respiratory failure. Signs and symptoms seen on inhalation are, on mild exposure, we get to see mucous membrane irritation, respiratory distress, tightness of chest, headache, dizziness, fatigue, GIT disturbances. On moderate exposure, we get to see ataxia, numbness, tremors, diplopia, paresthesia, jaundice, muscular weakness, multiple organ failure, incoordination and paralysis. On severe exposure, we get to see acute respiratory distress syndrome, arrhythmias, congestive heart failure, pulmonary edema, convulsions, and coma. So let's talk about the treatment. Gastric lavage with potassium permanganate is done two to three times to oxidize the poison. Give activated charcoal 100 grams orally to adsorb phosphine. Antacid reduce symptoms pertaining to the stomach and reduce absorption of phosphine. 
liquid paraffin is given for excretion of aluminium phosphide and phosphine from the gut. Now remember one thing, there is no specific antidote for this. Magnesium sulphate reduces organ toxicity, corrects hypomagnesemia and arrhythmias. To treat shock, 4 to 6 litres of fluid are to be administered during the first 3 to 6 hours. Low dose dopamine infusion 4 to 6 microgram per kg per minute is useful. IV hydrocortisone 400 mg should be administered every 4 to 6 hours. Hypoxia is treated with oxygen. Shock should be treated with fluids and hydrocortisone. Metabolic acidosis is treated using IV sodium carbonate. Peritoneal or hemodialysis is useful. Postmortem appearance. Garlic-like odor is present at the mouth and nostrils. Blood-stained froth is found in the mouth and nostrils. Mucous membrane of the lower part of esophagus, stomach and duodenum are congested. Talking about the medical legal importance, it's usually suicidal, occasionally accidental and rarely homicidal. Thank you for watching.